Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state law. Each year, the Highway Patrol must keep an alert eye on dozens of special charity drives organized in rural communities. The informality with which these campaigns are conducted makes them highly vulnerable to robbery. On Sunday, July 6th, there was a countywide Mother's March to raise funds for the children's wing of the hospital. The people in charge of this effort seriously underestimated the danger and failed to ask the highway patrol for protection. The community responded generously. The results were highly gratifying to the committee workers. They were also gratifying to a particular general handyman whose long contact with this fine community had failed to improve his character. He watched the money being collected and made special plans for it. Plans that had nothing to do with medical care for crippled children. That's it with the last penny. Hurry and count it up, girls. Fred will be here soon to collect it. Let's add up your figures so we can see what our total is. Am I the last block captain to come in? Yes. And I hope that means you collected the most. I'll be satisfied if we beat Partside for a change this year. We might not even beat Robin Glenn. A lot of people have moved in over there. Oh, well, I suppose Elmdell would be last again. <laughs> At least they try. 521.50. Very good, dear. What's her overall total? 8, 5, 5, 6, 14, 20, 9, 11, 15, 18 which gives us $2,803.70. That's marvelous. How did you do? Fair. Fair? Why, you beat every other town. Even Parkside? Parkside collected only 2,400 and some this year. Even Elmdale outdid them. What's the grand total for the county? I'll figure it out. Thank you. Oh, this is really wonderful news. Our grand total is $10,563.72. Oh, Fred. Wonderful. <laughs> We topped our gold by more than a thousand dollars. Congratulations, darling. Oh, oh, don't give me the credit. You gals did the spade work. Oh, the hospital mm -hmm. board will be delighted. They sure will. This will mean they can put in the new x-ray equipment. I think this calls for celebration. It certainly does. But I think I should get this loot down to my store first, where it'll be safe. I still think you should call the highway patrol. Now, dear, you know I've been carrying big sums of money around for a long time, and nobody's ever caused me any trouble yet. Oh, there's always a first time. Oh, we've gone over this a dozen times, mm -hmm. Lucy. Who's going to suspect that I'm carrying $10,000 in that old briefcase? Maybe nobody. But why invite trouble? If I took an armed guard along, that would be inviting trouble. It would be like hanging out a sign saying, I'm carrying $10,000. I still think Lucy's right. Now, you girls leave it to me. I'll have this money locked in my safe at the store in no time. And I'll turn it over to the hospital fund the first thing in the morning. What are you doing? Give me the highway patrol. Maybe they can still get there in time to meet Fred. Anyway, I'll feel better if I call them.
kill you. Now turn around. Slow. You're making a mistake. There's nothing in there but my accounts. They won't do you any good, but I need them. Turn around. Turn around! Headquarters by. Mr. Briscoe's just been robbed of the hospital funds. Suspect making his getaway. Stand by. Describe your car, Mr. Briscoe. It's a blue convertible. License number? NMP422. Blue convertible. License number Nora Mary Paul 422. 10-4? 10-4. Mr. Matthews, this just came in. Thanks. What'd they steal outside of the car? The funds collected by the Mother's March for the hospital. Over $10,000. Where? Right here. I'm on my way. Headquarters to 2518, 2566, 2540, and 2589. Headquarters to 2518, 2566, 2540, and 2589. Yes. I'm Matthews, Highway Patrol. I've made a terrible mistake, Mr. Matthews. What do you got? Well, the suspect was waiting when Mr. Briscoe got here. Came up behind him with a gun, took the hospital funds, and slugged him over the head. With a gun? Yes. What else you got? Uh, he was wearing a mask made out of green cloth. Tell me something. Can you remember the height of the man, the clothes he was wearing, his hat, his hair, his eyes, anything? Well, uh, he was wearing a baseball cap. His hair was uh, black, I think. No, dark brown. I could see his eyes. They were gray like gunmen. All right, fine. Resume patrol. Come on, I'll take you. Twenty-one twelve to headquarters. Headquarters, by. Following is a description of the suspect in the Briscoe robbery. Gray eyes. Six feet, 180 pounds, husky build. Last seen wearing a leather jacket and a baseball cap. This man is on and should be considered extremely dangerous. 
This is Mr. Matthews of the Highway Patrol. My wife and Miss Wayne. How do you do? How do you do? Fred, what happened? Oh, like you said, there's always the first time I was held up. Oh, no. Fred. You got a record of what was stolen? Yes, the tally sheet's right there. 2,200 in bills, 8,261 in checks, and the rest in change. If you had only arranged to take it to the bank, Mr. Simmons would have been there to receive it, even if it is Sunday. No use crying over spilt milk, Lucy. The important thing is to get the money back. Who knew where we were taking the money? Just the three of us. You sure? I didn't tell a soul. I'm positive. Neither did I. What about you? I kept it strictly to myself. What about Grace and Cecile? They were here counting money when Fred left for the store. They wouldn't have had time to pass the information along. Not that either of them would. They're both Girl Scout officials. Somebody must have talked. You sound as if you suspect one of us. Hello? Yes. All right, I'll tell him. It's your office, Mr. Matthews. They found my car. I want to start there right away. Okay, let's go. Oh, don't touch anything, Mr. Briscoe. We want to check it for fingerprints. I suppose you found nothing else, huh? No, but looks like the suspect had a motorcycle stashed away in these bushes. The tracks lead off to the east. I've already notified the other units. You know, that motorcycle may have been stolen. They've got a couple on the hot sheets. It could be. Keep looking. We might find something. Mr. Briscoe! Come here, take a look. That's the mask he wore. Uh, no markings. On that committee of yours, anybody works in a barber shop, a laboratory, a drugstore, anything like that? No, but Mabel Wayne runs a beauty parlor. Mabel Wayne, that's the woman I met at your house. Yes, but Mabel wouldn't have anything to do with this robbery. She's one of our best workers for the hospital. Well, maybe she's doing her best work for something else. <laughs> Was it your car, dear? Yes. But you didn't catch the robber. Where's Miss Wynn? She went back to her shop. She had some bookkeeping to catch up on. You go to her shop, don't you? Yes. What color uniform does she wear? Green. Why? Like this? Yes. This is the mask the robber wore. Does that mean Mabel had something to do with the robbery? Did she know where you were taking the money? Yes, we had a committee meeting here last Sunday and talked it over. Just the three of you? Yes. The others had all left by then. But just because this mask was made from one of her uniforms, it doesn't mean she helped in the robbery. She wouldn't. How long have you known her? I've been going to her shop for years. Do you know anything about her? She has two sisters living up north. She worked in Chicago before she came here. Know anything about her friends? She travels in a younger crowd. You women discuss these things in a beauty parlor, don't you? Mabel's more of a listener. I just can't believe Mabel Wayne would do such a thing. Where's her shop? It's the Hilltop Beauty Salon on Eastland Way. You can get there in 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks very much. Call my office if anything else happens.
it's you. Well, what are you doing here, Harv? Oh, I just dropped in to check on this valve. I thought you fixed that last week. I did. But uh, you're my favorite customer. I wanted to make sure the job was done right. You're getting mighty ambitious all of a sudden, aren't you? Oh, I was passing by this way and thought I should stop in. Wouldn't want you to get flooded out on account of me. What was the noise I heard? Sounded like money. Oh, uh, some change from my pocket. I was fishing for something to check on the gas connection on your water heater. There's more over there. Oh, yeah. Thanks. You always carry that much change? No. I was planning to call my kid brother long distance. How did you get in here? Uh, through the window. I didn't know you were here. Well, go ahead and check the valve. Okay. Give me the highway patrol. Quick. What are you trying to do? What do you think? Just because I climbed in the window is no reason to call the cops. You did a lot more than climb in the window. What are you talking about? You know perfectly well. You were here yesterday and heard me talking to Lucy Briscoe while she was having her hair done. You knew where her husband was going to take that money. What are you talking about? Oh, don't give me that innocent look. You've got the money back there somewhere. I'm not stupid. All right. I got the dough and I intend to keep it. I'm through fixing those broken water pipes and worn out hair dryers. to the headquarters. Headquarters, by. APB on Mabel Wayne. Once I'm out of this town, nobody will get me. Meanwhile, I want to make sure that you shut up until I get out of here. Come on. Get in there. No, please. Uh. Twenty-one fifty to twenty-one twelve. Twenty-one twelve. Bye. How soon can you get to Hilltop Beauty Shop? Two, three minutes. Ten four. Matthews, it was it was Harv Case, my repairman. He stay here. Case, this is the highway patrol. Come on with your hands on top of your head.
2150 to all units in Area 5. Suspects going north on Carver on a motorcycle. Attempt to intercept. Get off that motor and get your hands on top of your head. You were lucky, big shot. I'd have gotten away with it if I'd had a break. You were lucky. Nobody got killed. All right, come on, let's go. who stole the money. Well, are you all right? Lucy and I were worried. I'm all right now. Is this our money? Yes, it got scattered all over the alley. I found all but $30. Here's 15 more of it. Got him. I hope no one got hurt. No, nobody did. We'll keep this at headquarters. There's $15 missing. Oh, is it? Hold this for a second, will you? That's from Highway Patrol.